world, a lot going on in this country, a lot going on, period, mm -hmm. in life. So, And some things we don't understand, some things we try to understand. The main thing is that I said pray. That's How do you beat somebody up when they say pray? That's it. it was, if somebody say, I don't have no answers, I was all talking this. to somebody I was texting to that has a ministry overseas, and I kind of shed a little light on we all have different opinions on what's all happening and we don't know what God's plan or will is in all of this. Um, until then you just pray general prayer, peace in the middle East. You can't go wrong praying yeah. for peace, praying for peace and people not to be hurt or whatever. But then they, their reply was, uh, we all, we need to be specific in what um, our prayer is. And I said, sometimes you don't know the specifics we just have to trust God as Christians and or whatever your faith is mm -hmm. that what you're praying for will come to pass. You know, until you get specifics, I told her, I said, once the God starts revealing maybe what's going on and how we should pray specifically, when the true worshipers of God get an understanding, then you, it'll agree be in agreement with your spirit, and then you'll begin to pray specifically for certain things. But until then, yeah, we're just giving you what's going on, and not you know, and not from our view as well. And I like to do both sides because I feel like yeah. um, America has a tendency to be one sided, in my opinion, and there's a reason for that. But America does have a tendency to be on one side, and I think people start forgetting that there's humans on both sides of this thing. There's human beings on both sides. It's not man versus machine. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's humans on machine. both sides. But different backgrounds, different faiths. And I always think about Jesus and how he was an example on earth. Mm -hmm. He ministered to everybody. Right. He didn't just minister to one group of people. So there's a growing backlash um, over Harvard students who have a pro-Palestine letter. A letter went out. A letter from Harvard University student groups blaming Israel for violence is the region in the region has drawn a backlash from prominent alumni and US lawmakers. The letter authored by Harvard undergraduate Palestine Sadat Sadat Sadarity Committee stated that students hold the Israeli regime entirely responsible for all unfolding violence. It was co-signed by 33 student groups. Again, extreme. Yeah. One person, oh, it's your fault totally. And then the other side, it's your fault totally. Doing this? Anytime somebody says your fault totally, right. you automatically take, should tune them out. They take no. There's no such thing as somebody's fault totally. Right. Even in even in us with slavery. Marriage breakups and stuff. But even with us with slavery, mm -hmm. there was African tribes who sold us into slavery. Uh, no. There's no, never one side. And that's it's it. It's like, you're it. You're the, you're the, you did. Somebody played something on another side mm -hmm. to get to this. Yep. So it, right there, you knew that they was going to get controversy. Because anytime you do a letter that says, we hold you totally responsible mm -hmm. for what's going on, you're being one-sided. But right. they're students, they're dodo birds, even though they go to Harvard. Mm -hmm. So why would you expect them to think anything different? They're young. They're supposed to be are kind of military. That, are they from that? Um, they probably that are. Group? Okay. Um, the apartheid regime is the only one to blame. Israeli violence has structured every aspect of Palestinian existence for 75 years. That they are absolutely correct. That's the part that I think Americans don't understand yeah. is that Gaza, let's even, let's just say Gaza. We're not even talking about all of uh, everywhere. We're just saying Gaza. At one particular time, the Palestinians own all of that land, really. And they've been reduced down to a little small area, which is Gaza, right next to the water. Mm -hmm. And even that is apartheid. Because they are they are under the rule of Israel. Mm -hmm. They say when you what comes in, what goes out, when you eat, when you sleep, when you stand, when you sit. So living under those conditions, yeah, you think people are gonna be like just like how we was we was anti apartheid in South Africa. Mm -hmm. We didn't like that. Right. We didn't like that 
Dutch or whoever they were, they were being treated, treating the, the Africans in that place. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, now you're, we're going to tell you, this is what you do. This is what you, how you going to learn everything. To me, it's another form of slavery. Mm-hmm. You just don't have chains on people, right. but you pretty much dictate how they live their mm-hmm. lives. And then their minds are being. Yeah. Okay. So of course there's going to be animosity, but the way to get through that is not what um, Hamas did. Hamas, uh-huh. It's not what they did. You don't cross over into what who you call your oppressor's land, um, land uh-huh. and brutally assault and kill and all these other things, the people that's across that line. Right. You just don't. Just like you don't, on January 6th, kick in the doors of the Capitol uh-huh. and go through the windows and think anybody's going to be sympathetic and listen to what you have to say. Right. You look like a bunch of savages. Right. <laughs> That's the bottom line. It's January 6th. They look like terrorist attacks on like they've done in the past. So, other countries. so the letter comes after Israel says a thousand people have been killed and a hundred kidnapped, which they did. Again, if you want people to be sympathetic to what you have to say, kidnapping a hundred and some people <laughs> and taking them back to where you live, yes. no one's going to listen to you. No, they've already turned their ear to what you're saying because of what they see. So these kids coming out with this sign, Justice for Palestine, nobody cares about your sign. Mm. Do you understand that? Your cause could be absolutely correct. That's true. But because you, the Gaza is holding, the um, is holding, Hamas uh-huh. is holding a hundred and something hostages, mm-hmm. people, innocent people, no one cares about your justice. And they're showing this on social media, right? Yes. What, what Hamas is doing, they're showing visuals of this kind of yes. stuff. Yes. Okay. So the problem is, is that you have got to learn that in order to get people to listen and to follow what you want and what you say, it does not come at the hands of innocent people. It just doesn't. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why after all this time, people still don't get that. When has history ever changed where somebody was sympathetic to somebody coming in as a barbarian? Oh. <laughs> it's, and, and you could be absolute. I said this on the last show. When, if there was cameras following Nat Turner, uh-huh. no one would be sympathetic to um, slaves. They would be like, oh, my God, they're going in houses and think, is there slaughtering a, people. And- we always want to say, is there a peaceful way? Is there a better way? And I'm thinking a lot of times when it's different countries and, and groups against each other, people that have strong faith and beliefs and stuff, stuff, you would think things should be done in a loving way yes. or in a, let's discuss, let's negotiate. Let's, let's, you know, not hurt right. one another. And if, if those are atrocities being ha- happening with the Palestinians, people of Gaza, that's how you get your word out. You have social media. You've got all these things that you can, fit, you can show the world. Whereas before, years ago, you couldn't have done that. Yeah. But now you could have showed, they could have showed us visually mm-hmm. what was going on in Gaza. Exactly. They could have showed the world what was going on, and then people would have been more sympathetic. Right. It would have started maybe small, but then it would have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Now, am I being naive? Maybe I am to think that that's the way that you could have gotten I mean, people that, over on your side. It doesn't to do that way before you start rushing in and hurting folks. Exactly. And taking lives and showing it on TV or on camera. Now, I like this story. Um, who is this? I don't know how much, I but do I, this thing. Um, let's see where um, I watched this story. This is um, Channel 4 News. Mm-hmm. Um, Israeli troops mass on Gaza border. I like this because they have reporters that are in Gaza. We see all the other side. We see Israel side, but we rarely see the side on the other side, mm-hmm. which is Gaza and what's going on there. Warning that overcrowded hospitals only have three or four more days worth of fuel for their generators. And without electricity, treating the thousands of injured will, of course, become almost impossible. With Israel's bombardment of Gaza continuing relentlessly, the United Nations said that at least 340,000 Gazans have been made homeless in the last four days. Now, the reason why the, um, the people of Gaza are homeless is because they can't leave. Right. The only way out is through Egypt. 
And Egypt is not allowing them to pass through. Mm. I this understand Egypt, Egypt too. Area. Yeah, this is Egypt. Okay. And I understand Egypt too. We don't want millions of people coming here and we don't, you know, we're not ready. We're not prepared. We don't know what's going oh, on. We understand because what's well, happening to us. And that's not millions. Imagine millions. See? So but we get a little taste of we, it. Right. So people and, fleeing their country to because to, of what's going on and the crazy going on. So you basically, as Israel is bombing uh, Gaza, yeah. the people are homeless. They basically out in the street. That's basically it because they can't go anywhere. They can't go through Egypt. They can't You're go. Low on, like you said, electricity. They cut off the electricity. They cut off the food. So they got about three more days left of some of these people who have generators. Mm -hmm. After that, the hospitals would no longer have a generator. The schools would no longer have a generator and there would be no food. So they basically starving them out. Okay. The crossing between Egypt and Gaza at Rafah remained closed today, despite efforts by Egypt to broker a deal to let aid and fuel. ...of grief and of distress. This is Gaza. Some people completely overcome. And they do blur out the images. Others scream or can't bear to hear the screams. There's this is, still others this, where this bereavement is, is an altogether quieter affair. According to Gaza's health ministry, the number of dead is now close to 1,500, with over 6,000 injured. The UN says nearly 340,000 people have been displaced. That's approximately 15% of the population of the Gaza Strip. Numbers that will be out of date within hours. And somewhere in the sprawl, around 150 hostages. We're strong here, we're powerful here, in this place, now in Tel Aviv and everywhere. America's top diplomat, Antony Blinken, in Israel today, met some of those who managed to get away. Survivors. She was one of the survivors two main, from... Uh, uh, leverage points on Hamas. One is Qatar. The world is holding its breath ahead of an Israeli ground offensive in Gaza, as are the displaced families sheltering in this school in Gaza City. Three-dimensional diplomatic chess is one thing. It is another when the chessboard is on fire. Well, Yusef Hamash, who is a filmmaker and also works for the... <laughs> No one is where they should be. Many members of one family in one apartment. They thought it would be safer like this. He, like Muhammad, many who died in Jabalia camp last night didn't live here. Their neighborhood have been bombed. They had nowhere else to go. Okay, this is why I believe you see those people marching that's pro-Palestine, uh, okay? Pro, you know, what's, what? not attacking Gaza. It's not because they probably feel like well, you know, the, uh, you don't have a right to or Israel to defend yourself. But when you're bombing like buildings, you got to understand there's humans on the other side of that. We know what you're looking for. Now, the worst thing that's going to happen, these are airstrikes, is them physically going in, which is what Israel wants to do. All Everybody in the world is praying that that doesn't happen. That's what we're praying for. But Israel is upset. And they had a right to be because they was attacked too. And they also being attacked on the other side from a groups in Lebanon. So it's war going on. And I'm saying all of this to say we have got to pray. 
It's not an eye for an eye. You got to pray. We got to ask peace. Lord, send peace. Send pro people who want to sit and talk and say, how can we fix this? How can we remedy this? Not just everybody just shoot back and forth at each other. So when people ask why America is so sympathetic to Israel, not only do I believe it's because Israel is our um, ally, but you read something. What was the thing you was reading there? Um, I mean, it's coming from a Christian. What was this view. that you did, Ma? I don't, I don't understand. What was this. she saying? Mm -hmm. They could have shown us a show. They could have shown us. What do you mean? They could Wait, have shown us. Saying? It don't make sense. It doesn't they make could sense. have shown us. Who was they? Could have shown okay. us. I don't get it. Oh, I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, you talking about show us on TV? What's going on? Okay. This is confusing. That's yeah, confusing. Yeah. If it doesn't know what, but if we don't know what you're saying. Oh, okay. I don't know, Mama. Okay. Oh. So we say that there's people. I I didn't know what she was talking about. So I didn't. As far as reading some of this though, because this is I didn't think this this was actually needed right now. Right. Of course, but the point it, that we wanted to make with this is a lot of people in this country, Christians, are talking about just what the Word of God and what we believe in the Word of right. God. Whether you're Jew or whether you are a Christian, um, the Old Testament talked a lot. Of, God talked a lot to the Jew, the Jews about. Uh, covering them and protecting them. Cause I know one scripture people keep bringing up in Zechariah two and eight, when you touch Israel, you touch the apple of God's eye. And a lot of Christians, that's why we have a lot of stake in there, not just for country and territorial reasons. That's but, what I believe. Cause America was founded on Christian principles. Yeah. And we understand what the Torah and what was written in the word of God and what he said, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel is covered. You touch them, I'll touch you. And then people are going, but they're doing wrong. They're treating us bad. They're being, there's a history of Israel has been disobedient in the past. We right. know that, but God still says, I honor my word and my, my promise to Abraham. That's it. That's my seed. So I believe that's the reason. I believe. That's why a lot of Christians have I don't involvement think they, in this. I don't think they want to say it. Cause that sounds stupid. If you are a congressman, it's a spiritual or, thing. yeah, because it's basically. If, how do you say a congressperson? Um, well, um, uh, I grew up believing that send Israel. them weapons. Send them weapons because right. So of it's Zechariah easier, two and eight. It's easier to say because they're an ally. Because they're an ally. As long as they're an ally, mm -hmm. we know that they are always going to fight against these groups like Hamas and um, mm -hmm. Hamas and different groups like that that want us that want to um, be these little um, terrorist groups. Mm -hmm. So as long as they do that, it, that's what it sounds like to me. America will support Israel mm -hmm. because of that. Because mm -hmm. you're like this little area in there in the middle that don't you don't want terrorists to take over. So it's like we're going to support so whatever gotta, group but, that does but that. But like what you were saying, you see both sides to it. If the Palestinians are saying we're not being treated right, they're taking our land, why can't we have this property? You yeah. just keep Jerusalem or whatever. You keep certain, why you have to take every area? Right, every, right. They've been fighting for land for years. But that was one of the things I wanted to share. And as well as Psalms 12, 121 and 4, he, he that keeps Israel neither slumber, slumbers nor sleeps. The Lord is thy keeper. And then another scripture, Genesis 12 and three. If you're Jewish, you know these scriptures. I will bless those that bless you. I will curse those that curse you. So that's why a lot of times people get involved. When they hear about things going on in Israel, right away, the antennas go up and go, oh, God, your word says not to touch them, not to hurt them. And that's why we're in between like, oh, God, what's going on? How do you want us to pray? Well, one thing is that I'm saying is so easy to say, pray for peace. Yeah. Pray that that the the peace that surpasses all understanding. I know. Peace that surpasses all understanding. What gets some two people who hate each other to sit down and talk mm -hmm. and say, my people are suffering and your people are exactly. suffering. So even though I don't like you, <laughs> what do we need to do to fix this? Yes. That's what we need to be praying for. I don't care that they like each other. You don't have to like each other. 
That's the bottom line. You don't have to like each other. I don't have to like you. But you're not gonna you're not gonna pull me under a rule mm -hmm. under your thumb, mm -hmm. which is what um, what the Palestinians Palestinians are saying. Exactly. And then the uh, um, Israel is saying, okay, well, I have to do that because we don't trust you. You said you, well, you don't like you don't us. Like you want us. me dead, so I'm gonna keep you on a short leash as long as I can. Yeah. So it has to be peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. How do you get two brothers to live in the same house and they don't like each other? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's where prayer comes in because it's pulling down those strongholds that's keeping man to not trust each other and, yes. and not like each other. Yes. Because I think about even in the Old Testament and the Torah, how God hardened Pharaoh's heart. God can do anything. Yes. He, he is an awesome God. He's a God of all flesh. So we need a miracle. He can touch the hearts of these leaders. Yes, we need a miracle. To say, calm it down. But on Move both out. sides, yeah. we don't need protests I know. blaming the other side. No, that makes it worse. Just like the Harvard students, we don't need your letter mm -hmm. saying that it's because of Israel taking total responsibility mm -hmm. on what's going on right now. Thank no. Because that makes matters no. worse. That's, they don't take total responsibility. Mm -hmm. For that. You added more coal to the fire. And then on the other side, we don't need Israel upset, which you have the right to be. And I'm not saying I wouldn't be like that. If somebody invaded our country, I'm I'd be like, you. burn, you go and burn all of them down. I'm yeah, but you. there's a, there's little kids. I don't care. You crumble every building <laughs> over there. I get it. Yeah. I understand that. Uh -huh. But we have the people on the outside. Because the two people that's fighting, it's like a, a fight. Mm -hmm. The two guys that's fighting in the bar, nope, they're not listening to you. No. Ralph, Ralph, the police are coming, Ralph. You're gonna get arrested. Get off of me. He's, he's going down. down. If he's not if you're not careful, his fist may hit your he may jab you in the face. And you tear he's trying to get the other man. You tear up the whole bar. I know. But I the know. two guys are bubbleheads. They're not listening. So the people around them gotta be the ones that got some sense in the head yes. and say, okay. I see you guys are, you know, he's heated on this side. Exactly. So we're not in this. So let's be on the outside and kind of and break this up. And don't it. let the spirit of pride tear you down. Right. Pride can cause everybody's lives to be taken. Yes. Because you're too proud. And don't be cheering for one bobblehead over the other. <laughs> They're two brothers in a bar fighting. Uh -huh. They're both bobbleheads. Uh-huh. But you know one, of and the, you can't be on the outside rooting them, rooting one on, one unless of, he's tearing the bar up. One of the things, though, that a lot of people have been sharing on Facebook and other social media, the from the Christian standpoint, a lot of this is prophecy. So we're yeah. like, oh God, is this prophecy coming to pass? There's a lot of countries that hate Israel. Yeah, and we as Christians, we do understand why. Yeah, when we think about all the years, and and God has engrafted them. In, into the body as far as his, 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 the apple of his eye. You would be jealous yeah. as an outside nation, as another, you know, not part of that shit, that Israel. Uh uh, why you pick them? Yeah. Why are they the favorite? That's not fair. And I think the enemy uses that to cause division and cause people to be hurt and harmed in it. So, yeah, but okay. So that's it. So, so pray. it's different points of views right. on this whole war. That's and right. What's going pray. On. And then nobody yeah. wants to hear Christians talk about how wonderful the, the Israel is. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear that. The Palestinians you, don't. <laughs> that's like somebody, why we slaves, you come and talk about how wonderful the slave master is. Know. Well, God gave him my, a promise. My slave master is a good man. He Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about a promise and all of this. Yeah. Not why you living under the rule exactly. and, and, and people are hurting you. Yeah. So it's wisdom too. Yeah. Use wisdom when you preach and talk to people. Yeah. You don't talk to somebody that's not a uh, that don't believe in the same Bible. You are talking about how wonderful the book is and how wonderful God has promised is. He God stretched out the land <laughs> and said, Abraham and Isaac, you get this, and, and they look you, at you, they you like don't look at you. That's like, not my faith. I don't believe that. <laughs> what I know is that wonderful guy you just said who God blessed, uh -huh. he just savagely, brutally hurt my family. He allowed that to happen. And I don't understand that. So quit talking all of that Christian stuff mm -hmm. and pray. Mm -hmm. let, let the power of God move spiritually. People talk too much. Yeah, our words, you know, can...
All right, everybody's saying hi to each other. Wendy says the Woods Report has a lot of commercials. I just saw two. Good. That means we that money. pays us, Wendy. Uh, Wendy says I believe Perk passed. Who is Perk? Oh, you think who is Perk? Mike, Mike Perkins, Perk, the 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 one we was talking to, Mike. Oh, but you don't know, Wendy. How do you know How that? Do you know. We're thinking that probably the same. Um, Wendy says they he might have. We don't know. Oh, we haven't heard from. Say, him. I wish we was tying into somebody yeah. else he knows. Um, Wendy says they were savages, the children of slave owners. Yeah. Um, Emerald says, "Hey, ladies. Hey, Wendy. She said hi to everybody." Um, Wendy says it's so cruel to see civilians mutilated. Yes, it is. Innocent civilians suffering with no home. Um, Emerald says, "No, the innocent are always the ones to suffer. Always." Why knuckleheads um, fight? That's why I didn't like when that Greg Goldfield or whatever his name is on the five on the Fox saying we should have civil war. They have no clue of what war is. Why would you even say the word war? Thank you. That shouldn't even be in our vocabulary. That's the sad thing. It shouldn't be in our vocabulary. I just don't like when people do that. Oh, here, Wendy. There's something came up here that said skip ads. So I'll skip it. Oh, you could do that? It must come up. If I don't see it, it'll come up and say an ad is getting ready to run. (laughs) It was getting ready to show you another one. I just didn't see it. I thought you want the ads to run. It don't matter. We'll see it later. But she said the ads help us get paid. Yeah, but I want people to stay on here. I don't want ads to keep coming in. But anyway, um, but it does have a thing that pops up now. So I didn't see that before. Okay. Okay. So the bottom line is that people who speak about war never been in one. You notice that? I know. The ones who always want a war never been in one. This generation, other than the older ones who have fought military wise, yes, we have not had a taste of it. Yes, uh, like what, what she just showed on the video. Nobody's let crumbling your house, and you going to pull your kids out from underneath, oh. and your grandmother, you don't know if she's alive, and yes. nobody's gone through that here. Only from like earthquakes, unfortunately, or things yes. that they personally have experienced. But who are you warring against? God? War. That's an earthquake. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Who yeah. you going to blame? Mother nature. Oh. So, all right. Wendy okay. says, because Jacob was faithful, the Lord gave him the special name Israel, which means one who prevails with God or let God prevail Jacob. Mm-hmm. Um, Katilia, uh, Katilia. Oh, hey. I haven't seen you, Katilia. Hey. Hey, Hi, everybody. ladies. Hi, mama. Um, Emerald says, Michael passed away. Yeah, we don't know, Wendy. Did you hear something? Oh, Wendy said had a stroke. Something's wrong. So we don't know. Let us know where we getting that from. Y'all, he got crack up if he come in here. I'm, I'm or, alive and well. <laughs> <laughs> or if he hasn't said anything. And he said, stop saying I'm come down here. Okay. Or whatever. Oh, so okay. we don't know, y'all. Let's find Aww. out. I thought we were, we we knew that we were from his family was from our family. They know they from Muscle Shows, but I don't know. We don't know. Who okay. We, I wish we had gotten more um, names from him. Yeah. Katilia says they've been fighting since 1943. This has been years in the making that a war would break out. Yes. Yeah. And Emerald says, oh, my goodness. Is there a way to reach out to him or his family? Yeah. I know. So if we could find out. I don't know, y'all. We miss him. Add Mike on there. Pray for we, Mike. Let's we, find out what's going on, what's y'all. Going on. All right, y'all, but I just wanted to bring that up. I changed the picture. I always don't want to um I always want to avoid it, but how can you avoid it? Mm-hmm. It's and it's getting worse. Mm-hmm. In 3 days they won't have any in Gaza they won't have any um anything. In 3 days. That means those people that you saw at the hospital or whatever, mm-hmm. they won't even be able to go there in 3 days. So So yeah. it's getting worse and if they go in, if Israel goes in, oh my god. So let's just pray that before that happens or it gets worse or whatever, that, you know what? God touched the hearts. Hopefully they have a heart, but Jesus. They do. Of ha- um, um, Hamas released the hostages in good, in good name, mm-hmm. in good, in good, um, what is it? Whatever word. If, in, in good faith, mm-hmm. if they're still alive, release them. Mm-hmm. Having, having a visual picture on social media and the, and the news of 150 people walking across, going back into Israel, alive, will cripple Israel. They wouldn't be able to do it any, anymore because nobody would agree with them. Mm-hmm. They would say, for God's sakes, they just released the hostages. They walk across back over to Israel. You got the kids over here and guys are starving. Stop this already. That would be in good faith. 
-hmm. not holding on to them at the risk of your own people being demolished. So pray for that. God did touch the heart. God can touch the heart. The one lady said in Israel, the guys came in, the ones that was coming in, killing everybody. They came into her house, her and her husband. Did you see that story? They came into her house. And I guess one of them must have got hurt or something. She got, God calmed her down. She was calm. She said, let me help you. She helped mend his wounds. She gave them food. They didn't kill them. And they didn't take them with them. One of the few houses that wasn't taken. And the, and the newsman said, why didn't they kill you? Why didn't she say, I believe because he saw that, that, that God in me, mm -hmm. that I wanted to help him. Mm -hmm. I wasn't here to hurt him. And that changed his course. He was probably given orders to go in there and kill what was in that house mm -hmm. or bring them out. So you can change things. You can. From prayer. You can change things from prayer. Mm -hmm. So let's pray. Mm -hmm. Whoever the leaders are over at um, Hamas, I don't want to say their name wrong, Hamas, that the other guys maybe start pushing on them and saying, let's let them go. Let's let them go. My family, everybody's passing around. So let's see. Put it windy, sir. All right. Um... Wendy says, try to get to the bottom of it. They said their generators are going down. Cotillia says, Matthew 5, 9, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. I know you ladies are not fond of Trump, but he was all about making peace and not war. If come over. Uh oh, you got her started. <laughs> you tell you. His name? No, no, hold on. If come over gets on television and says what I just God said, can touch his heart too. If he gets on TV and says what we just said just now, I'll leave him alone. But you know what? We all hand to Bible. We all have experience. I believe we all can write some stories that we've had experiences ourselves and other people's testimonies. The power of God, how He can move on the hearts. He of all people, God knows the heart better than we know our own heart. Guys, so I keep thinking about the Pharaoh, right? And what he was trying to do in that, and letting his people go. If, God touches the hearts. If of man. calm over, so He can touch his heart too. If calm over starts to say, "Oh Lord," I say this right here on national television, right in national television, mm -hmm. on this thing. Ma, you hear me saying it? Yeah. If calm over says what we just said. Along the lines of peace, because Biden ain't saying that. Mm -hmm. He's saying give Israel more weapons. If calm over says what we just said about you need to pray on both sides, they need to pray and this needs to stop and that um, no one wins in this. If he starts to talk like that, I'll leave him alone. Even, even in his narcissist ways, he can still say, I. Yes. I want them to stop. Stop. Yes. Hey, hey, you stop. God is still using him. You're right. Like you're saying to make something happen. So let's see. Because he'll use a jackass. Yep. Why not? And I agree with uh, Cotillia, Matthew 5, 9, blessed are the peacemakers. He wants his word. He wants his word to go forth. He wants peace. Yep. He will use a rock. Yep. So use Trump yep. if you want to. And he even get brag about it. Even Paul. Paul, why dost thou persecute me? What are you doing? Dude was trying. He was getting rid of Christians. P Paul was like, I'm coming in like Gaza. I ain't taking no hostage. Anybody that Anybody. talks about Yahweh or Yahshua, get out of here. Get and him. I don't care. Put him in jail. If you're a kid, whatever you are. Thank I'm you for thinking you about now. that example. Paul, Paul was I'm putting a sword to you. I don't care if you're a baby. You, anybody. And he mm. was, and God said, what in the world is going on? He persecuted me when you do that to the people. Whoa, he had a Damascus Road experience. Maybe that needs to happen to so Trump. So pray for a Damascus experience. Not him, the people. Everybody. Yes. Whoever God needs to move on. All right. But thank you for bringing Paul up. He was treacherous. Yes. Y'all need to get, there's a book out on Paul, the book of Paul, and his background and his upbringing. He wasn't nothing to play with. No. I'm so glad his heart changed. Thank you. Ooh. So God could change Ooh. the heart. He thank could you, change Jesus. that. And that man spent time in jail because he had to. Yes. To write letters to all the yes, churches. Yes, yes. So let's pray that God will oh, change the you, hearts Lord. of men. Thank you. On both sides. Oh, thank you. Lord. On both sides. Mm. 
In my mind. And let's pray that Israel turns back. Y'all said the Bible. Go back to the days where they allow God to fight their battles. Well, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Yes. So let them go back to that. They believe in those scriptures. I'm thinking pa- the pa- vengeance is mine. Let me do it. Not you. <laughs> Not you t- cutting off food and electricity and marching through and slaughtering everyone. Right. Let me do it, buddy. Yeah. I'll do true. it when no Israel li- Israelite would die. Nobody in the Israeli um, um, uh, army would pass away. That's right. Let me do it. Let me walk, march, march around like um, J- was it um, Jacob, Joshua? The wall, the Jericho. wall of Jericho. Yeah, they march around until it fell down. Stand up there so and we'll cry see. out and cry out and let me take care of it. I'll take care of this. Not only will I get the hostages out, but I'll make sure no other bloodshed. But no, man wants to do it. Let God do it. Yeah. All he'll, right. He'll move through whoever he needs to move. He'll through. move through whoever he needs to Ooh, to get the job done. I'm so grateful for his grace. All right. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um. Pray, pray, pray. Cotillia says. Wendy says, pray. If you look in the dictionary under wood, says Don the Con. Katilia says, I agree with that, ladies. <laughs> Don the Con. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that, ladies, because God is no respecter of person, but can use anyone, even an anyone. ass, to do his work. Ooh, when they had that donkey in the Old Testament talk to him when he was kept hitting against the... <laughs> If an animal talks to you, you're I'm like, oh Lord. I'm praying for a miracle, oh, y'all. And you know, it's, um, the Israeli people love miracles. I'm praying for a miracle. I, you know what? Three days they think their um, electricity and all that's supposed to be going down in generators. Let's let it keep going. Ooh. Even Israel will be like, that would be a miracle. Israel will be like, God, are you moving? Are you doing something? Allah? They're not Ooh. supposed to have, that's not, their generator's not supposed to keep running. Elohim? So let's hope, let's pray for a miracle so that the world can see the, 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 the uh, okay. magnificent and the strength of God. Okay. All right. All right. You saying okay. I said okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Who is this? You said.